Geralt. There we go. Okay, and then he does it twice. Seriously. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome. Gerald indicates it is 7 o'clock. You are on Tamara's Paper Trail. This is Mystery Card Monday or Mixed Bag Monday, whichever you prefer. I am Tamara Bertram coming to you from, not from St. Albert, holy cow, from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. St. Albert is my hometown, but I'm in Edmonton. You'd think I've said that enough times that I'd get it right, but anyway. Oh, look, you can see my shit. I just, I, I was 30 seconds late because I'm like, I gotta wet my chamois. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I was a minute late. So, yeah, give me a hidey ho and let me know who's in the house tonight. We are on, you're in for a good time tonight. Hi, Lena. Hi, Jennifer. Joy. Melody. Thanks for popping in. Give me a hidey ho. Um, yes, tonight. I am so excited. So, you know how Mondays, you never kind of know. I never know what I'm going to do. And I woke up this morning thinking I wanted to do another Mystery Card Monday and use up some of my designer papers. And, uh... In the end, I, oh, actually, it's not just a twofer. I said it's a twofer tonight because we're going to be doing um, a fun fold and a technique. But actually, we're also using some designer paper. So I didn't give dimensions on how to make it just because I don't, until you see it, you don't know what papers you're going to use. Um, but it's so easy. The fun fold is so easy. A few of you had commented on it last week. So I'll get into that minute, uh, in a minute. I'll just go through all my hellos and my hattie hoes and hi, Susan. Marcella's in the house. Hi, Jan. Stacy, Oklahoma. How's the weather in Oklahoma, Stacy? In uh, eastern Canada, we had like 50, 50 inches of snow or some ridiculous record-breaking amount in history. Um, out west, uh, we're I think it's raining right now. <laughs> my mom said it was raining in St. Albert, but uh, we got a bunch of snow. Not, not nearly that much. We got about five centimeters last night. Um, so it's interesting as across the country, how it varies. Hi, Lillian. Hey, Lillian, did you figure out the, um, the scanning cut? I was thinking about you today and I didn't get a chance to message you. Hi, Cheryl. Judy. Hello. Eddie Edwards. How are you? Mailed off your package today. Donna and Gail. Okay. Yes. Gail, you're going to like this fold. Hi, Linda. Tracy is napping in the chair. I bet. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep her awake. Kathy and Mary. Mary, are you home now? Heather, hello, my friend. Oh, for, you got a new Archon? What? How'd you get that so fast? Oh, you ordered it. I was like, what? <laughs> Hi, Jen. Jen, are you home? Look, you guys, you're all been away. Michelle, hello. And Kathy and Teresa and Denise. Hey, Winnipeg, Denise is in the house. Hello, my friend. 50-ish today, a little overcast. Okay, but it's not snowing, so you're okay. Uh, oh, excellent, Lillian. Well, know that if you buy one, it's going to be a newer model and everything you learned is probably out the window. <laughs> Need some happiness. Uh, okay, Melanie. Well, this will get you happy. Um, Nova Scotia received between 80 and 130 centimeters. That is insanity. Uh, my friend, so you might know her, the Serene Stamper. Um, she posted that her husband had, uh, it's, it's Tina... Tina McDonald is her name now. What was she before? Tina, I forget what her last name was, but she's married now. Anyway, they, uh, their husband shoveled for seven hours yesterday or the day before. And then yesterday he had to like get back at it. It's crazy. All right, Jen's home. Hi, Karen. Hello. And Mary and Bernice, <gasps> MJ and Sharon. Okay. Thank you, you guys. Thank you very much for popping in and thank you for commenting. As I've said before, it helps my, the algorithms. Um, I've been posting less on Facebook and yeah, it says, oh, your reach is down 70%. So that's how fickle Facebook is. If I don't post like two, three, four times a day. So thank you for commenting. It helps. Every little bit helps. Uh, oh, did she Marlene? Okay, cool. All right. Oh yeah. I hope she's well. Okay. So first and foremost, you guys, I want to just give a shout out. So next Tuesday night, not a shout out, like I'm just mentioning here next Tuesday, I'm going live on the 13th. It is indeed Galentine's Day, the 13th of February. Um, my virtual BOGO sale. It's for my retired bundles. Uh, now, I know a lot of you are going, oh, no, I can't handle these. These are stressful and you got to type too fast. This one isn't as bad. This is, isn't as bad. This one isn't nearly as chaotic as my $5 sale. Those are insanity. Like seriously, people, I can't keep up and it takes me hours to scroll through. But this one, because the price point is anywhere from 
like if I do um, punch bundles, it'll be about $25 price point and other bundles can be 40, 50, 60, even $70 is the price point. So you don't have many people chomping at the bit to, to, to spend that. So it's a BOGO on these ones, you guys, not just, you're not just sending me cash. It's like, if you want this bundle of mine that I have a $60 price tag on, that means that you will get it for free when you buy $60 worth of product from my store, any product, it can be paper, it can be a bundle, it can be whatever you want. Um, and then if it's $60 or more, you're going to get a celebration item as well. Thank you. I thought, I thought, Stacy, I wondered if you would notice. I'm like, I've done my nails finally. It has been months since I've done my nails because I don't like doing them when they're short. It's hard for me to do them. And uh, anyway, so I did them. I thought I do them in a, in a neutral just for you, Stacy. I was just going to call me a Tina Zank, right, Karen? Jeez. She's like one of my dearest friends. We were on council together, but I'm just drawing a blank. Anyway, so this is uh, next Tuesday night at 6.30 is when I go live. And they usually last an hour and a half, okay? And I'm going to fly through some stuff. But I have a lot of, uh, lot of retired product I need to shift. So that's what I'm going to talk about there. And I'm, I'm going to go, I'm not going to go through all of my classes, but something we're playing with this tonight, the Enduring Beauty. So, um, 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 why did I want to bring this up? Okay. A few of you caught my my coffee break on Friday, and it's in my newsletter coming out on Wednesday. But when you sign up for three of my classes, you get $85 worth of free spending and a celebration item. So that's a cracking good deal. You get the three classes, the Enduring Beauty, the postal, post uh, perennial postage, and the blueberry basket, the blueberry... Bushes. Sure. Let's go with that. Bunches. Blueberry bunches or whatever it is. The blueberry class. You get those three classes, all the pieces that go for the class. You get the live Zoom, you get the replay. Um, and then you also get $85 worth of product for me and a celebration item. So th that'll be coming out in the link on Wednesday and I'll post it again. It's just um, a lot of people didn't realize I do that. And I guess I haven't advertised it very well. So it is a thing. And yes, $85. So what you can do if you get that, sorry, that's just with the, when you want the card only option. So it's really geared towards my demonstrator friends. You're saying, well, I'm going to order this bundle myself, Tamara. Thank you very much. I just want the $40 option. So if you take three of the $40 options, you get $85 worth of free spending and the classes to go with that. Does that make more sense? I, I guess that was kind of the key point. It has to be three of the $40 card only classes so with the free spending you can get the other products you need for the classes like the white embossing powder the heat tool um the blueberry bushel blends blueberry bushel markers and or the blueberry bushel ink and or the blending brushes all the things that you need for those so that's what i'll say about that oh hi deb hello start treatments again on tuesday oh okay all right deb okay all right so what we're doing tonight, let me just, you want to see a little peekaboo? This is what I did on Saturday with my team. We, we, uh, we have an event, uh, I think it's three times a year. Maybe it's four. I think it's three. Anyway, um, where my sisters and I put on presentations for our teams. It's a team exclusive perk. And this is the project I made. And it's a, sm actually this one shakes better. It's, um, it's a smelly, a smelly shaker. Inside of it are the um, unstoppables, the, the, uh, laundry beads that you put in to make your laundry smell nice. So that's what's in here and it smells divine. <laughs> so this is the project I made on the weekend with my team and about 350 other team members of my friends. So do you want to see what we're doing tonight? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Hi, Bev. How are you? You missed it. Bev, BOGO sale next Tuesday night, 630. Be here. Okay. BOGO sale, garage sale, retired stuff. You want to be here. Okay. So a number of you commented when I posted this card that my friend and silver sister, Cindy, uh, Cindy Piggott, um, made and sent me this swap. So it looks pretty unassuming. It's like, oh, it's just a gatefold card. That's okay. It's awesome. But uh, you open it up. Ooh. So first of all, it's fun because this one opens this way and that goes that way and this goes this way. And then this is like a little, it's, it's folded here. And so it can sit on the desk and it's going to look like this when it's sitting on your desk. Hi, Nikki. Like that. So I had several people comment saying, okay, you need to show us how to make this on a mystery card Monday. And it, so I will. So we're going to close this up again like this. 
So that's just a little bit of fun. So this is the um, online exclusive cutest, fluffiest friends, not cutest critters, fluffiest friends. Um, I don't know how, oh, this is probably half of the egg dyes. That's it. The Easter egg dyes that I just got. And this is our old hive embossing folder. It's, uh, it's retired. But anyway, this is our new Be Mine. Sure. Be Mine paper <laughs> that you can get. And you're as sweet as honey. So that's how she decorated it. Now, I had a little play. Do you remember? If you tuned in on, I think it was Friday, I said I wanted to play with my Supremely Awesome set. This one had not seen ink yet. And I, I said I was going to play with it on the weekend. Well, play I did. Let me tell you that. I played. So while I was watching the rest of the presentations throughout the day, I made eight or nine of these. Um, I haven't quite finished them yet. But I, I made and colored these little fellers. How cute are they? With matching. So I colored their aprons and then I made a matching background and so I I've got eight of them there's uh, blue there's green there's all the different colors like I just I had a real good play with them and so all the pieces were sitting on my desk and I thought okay I wanted to show you guys how to make this card and I thought no I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it with one of these little fellas so I did I had a play and this is what I came up with and it was a challenge for me because it uses wild wheat designer papers. And it took me a while to find one that worked. Ah, look, I love this. Not sure about the wild wheat paper, but I had to. The pizza sauce, I colored in, in um, wild wheat. And I got that from, I think it's Anne Sash, S-C-H-A-S-H. -S -S She's at uh, stampinchic.com. And so I colored, all of my little guys were colored from, like I just did what she did because it was darn cute and why reinvent the wheel. So when I was trying to lay it out, I really needed to pull, like these were the two focal colors. So I've got, this one is the cherry cobbler and I made the background here for that. And then I needed some wild wheat in the background. So I don't love this. The other patterns though didn't really work. They had flowers or weird things on it. Thank you, Penny. Thanks, Donna. Oh, you guys, thank you. Oh, I'm glad you like it. This part, uh, this just makes me want to scream. I love this. <laughs> it's just so cute. So you're supremely awesome. And then, so it's just, the sentiment is just tucked under there to help keep it closed a little bit. So you open it up. And like that. So I wanted to make some of these in the set. Um, I might be sending some Galentine's cards out with this because it says together we make a deluxe combo. <laughs> so cute. Um, maybe I'll just give one to Craig for that. I don't know. But anyway, it's a really sweet set. I had a lot of fun playing with it. Oh, and there's an avalanche. I'm okay. It's all right. It fell down. Hang on. I don't want to roll over it. Okay. So. That was fine, and I wanted to show, I thought, well, I can show people how to make it using this, but I'm out of this paper, unless I open a whole new pack of the stickle of the stippled roses. So I thought, no, I like it. Let's see what else we can come up with. And so the next one is the card we're going to make tonight. And I love it. I freaking love it, you guys. I love it. I love it. Did I mention I love it? Because I really, really love it. I love, I love everything about it. I love the colors because purple is my favorite color. Um, yes, do it, Bev, get together. Get together, Susan and all you girls, get together. I just love everything about this. So this one, I tied some ribbon just to keep it tied, or to, to keep it um, together more because it wants to, it naturally wants to pop open. Okay, and I promise we will get to actually making it. It's a quarter after seven. I'm sure I can do this in time. Why not? Oh, hi, Eileen. Eileen in California. Okay, so then this one we're going to open up this way. Sorry, let's keep it in the field of vision. And that's the inside. Did I mention I love it? Yeah, Kathy, that's why we're friends. Thanks, you guys. Oh, I'm glad you like it. <clears throat> I can't, you know, I can't show, I don't like to show cards when I don't love them. And I love this one. So giddy up, let's go. Take some notes if you want to. I will, at some point in the next week, um, life permitting, put this on my blog. Now, on my blog, there is, um, hi, Susan, there's a tab that says Mystery Card Monday Layouts, 
and this is where that's where I'll post this with the dimension or the with this video replay. But the dimensions are so quick and easy. You could here, you could even screenshot this. This, this is my notes. So easy. Screenshot that, and then I'll tell you what it means. Okay, so I'm going to start with a piece of Highland Heather. We're going to make, okay, what we're going to do, I'm going to do it in two pieces, because this is the twofer, right? We're going to do two things. We're going to do the, the fun fold, and then I'm going to show you the masking with this baby that uh, we're also going to be doing it in my class. Okay, so to make the card base, we need to have a piece that is a half a sheet of cardstock. So we're going to cut it at five and a half. And we actually need this to be a little bit smaller by half an inch. So you want five and a half by eight, not by eight and a half. This is eight and a half. We're going to cut off a half. So you've got five and a half by eight. And I think this is just because math is hard and it's going to make our scoring easier because now on this, thank you, Denise. On the eight inch side, we're going to score it at two, four, and six. So this is five and a half by eight. And on the eight inch side, score at two, four, six. So let's do that. This is so quick, you guys. It's shockingly fast. Two, four, six. Okay, let's put that aside. We also need a strip. Uh, this one, we need one by four and three quarters, and we're going to score it at one inch on each end. And I had a piece here that was that size, but I might have cleaned it. No, I did not clean it up. So this one is, uh, this is one inch wide by four and three quarters long, and we're going to score it at one, and we're going to flip it around and score it at one. Less, fewer numbers to fewer numbers to remember. One, flip it, one. Okay, put that aside. We need then for the centerpiece a three by four panel in the same Highland Heather. And then the white insert is going to be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So three. I'm only going extra fast today because I want to make sure we get into the technique of it. This is just assembly and it's so easy. Okay. While I'm here and I got my trimmer out, I might as well get out my papers. So I'm using the um, perennial, which am I doing? Perennial lavender. Do I have another sheet of that pattern? Yes, I do. Okay. So the best way to use your um, your paper to its maximum benefit is to cut off a one and three quarter inch strip. So what we're doing now is we're making panels for in here. Uh, where is my card? I want to show you, did I hide it? Here's the belly band. Oh, the card's right in front of me, you doorknob. Okay, so we're make, we need one, two, three, four, five, six panels in whatever, co whatever color combination you want. And I played around with that for a bit and it took me a while, but I want now four in this pattern. So I'm going to do it at one and three quarters. That's going to get me two, one and three quarters. So I'm going to get two chunks of this. Then I'm going to turn them and I'm going to cut them at five and a quarter. So uh, I didn't write those measurements down. I could, but I mean, it's pretty basic. You're just going to make a layer in here. So this is five by four and a quarter. No, this is five by, <coughs> pardon me, five by whatever this is, five by two. Well, this little chunk. How about you measure it on my glass mat and see how, 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 how high it is. It is five and a half. So we want it five and a quarter. And this panel is, this little chunk is two, 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 right? So we need it one and three quarters. Makes sense in my head. But I'm talking really fast because I'm very excited. You guys know me. When I get excited, I get faster. And why aren't these scrolling again? Hi, Hope. Hi, Edna. Welcome. Okay. So I need two of this pattern and five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And then for this one, any of these patterns will do. Um, I'll do this one. I'll do... 
don't know if I have the other one that's a little less. This one. No. Nope. There are a few. There's this one and this one and this one. They look very similar. So I don't think I have any more of this one left. Without opening it up. Oh, yes, I do. Ha! I like this one. I like what I like. So I'm going to cut that at one and three quarters. By five and a quarter. Do I find the DSP easier to use if you cut the sheets to six by 12? I like the, um, I don't know about easier, Teresa, but I find there's less waste if I leave it in a 12 inch length. Because for this particular, like if you have a six by six, you end up chopping up a lot more and wasting more. Possibly. I mean, you can always use, you can always use the pieces. I tend not to, and they end up in a garage sale. But, um, I like them six by 12. This, this just happened to be, it was half of my paper share. Um, I had cut it in six by 12 to cut one half of them into a six by six. So that's why they're six by 12, but I do, I do like that size. Yeah. Okay. So that is all. Oh, and then I need, a piece, <coughs> excuse me, a piece of the white, which I have. <clears throat> so I'm done with my trimmer. Okay, so let's just quickly put this bad boy together and we'll get to the fun coloring and stamping part. You're going to fold in on all the score lines. And you're going to burnish. Now this is a little noisier than usual because it's on my glass mat, which I love. So I'm going to burnish as I go. Now, this is how the card is going to go. So it's fine, we've burnished it like that. But I'm actually gonna burnish it the other direction on these wings. When you have a card that's like this, in order to get it to lay as flat as possible, if you, if you flip it over and burnish it the other direction, it's gonna break down those fibers a little bit more and they're gonna lay flatter, ultimately. So then put back the way you want it, one more burnish. And it should, you know, it's going to be a little bit um, flatter than if you didn't do that. So step one. <clears throat> now I'm going to decorate and my glue is about to run out. So I do have a refill somewhere. There we go. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. I see you can see the red is there. It's coming. I'm going to have to, I'm going to run out right away here. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the outside. So this piece again is five and a quarter by one and three quarters. All of them are because the panels are two inches wide. So this is just um, one and three quarters wide. Now, what did I do? I keep losing my card. I lost my card again. I'm looking and I'm not seeing. Oh, because I put it back in with the designer paper, because that's the way I roll. You know, <sighs> there's my card. <laughs> what a maroon, as Bugs Bunny would say. All right, Do the same one here. I played around um, originally. I liked this paper, this color too, but it uh, it was too harsh, so I softened it. Tape refill replacement. Okay, so nope, I need my little. There we go. So we're gonna put this on the left. And this one on the right. These ones in the middle. Do we, Bev? <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> so dad's back in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he was out so what like what he was in for two weeks he was out for all of 36 hours <laughs> he's back in again he's okay ish 
I don't know, they'll let him out too soon. So <clears throat> the fun continues. Rebecca and I will go up and see him tomorrow. And so that's why my days are full between physiotherapy, the chiropractor and visiting my, my papa. It's been busy. Okay. So this is the strip I cut earlier. Uh, the one inch by four and three quarters scored at one inch, one inch. I'm going to fold it in and we're going to put glue on the legs, the wings, whatever you want to call these, these little flaps. I can't wait to do the masking with you. That's why I'm hurrying. It won't take half an hour, but anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put it in the middle of this pat, this center panel with these two center panels. So it's right in the middle. You're just going to hold it for a few seconds. This glue works fast, <clears throat> bonds well. <clears throat> I know, Valerie, I know. It's okay. It's, um, I'm actually, I was thrilled to hear that he went back in because he, um, he needs to be there. It's just, it's not safe at home with all the stairs. And that was the problem. Once he got home, okay, now pay attention to this part. I'm just going to put glue about an inch in the middle here. Okay. Not the whole thing, just an inch of it. Um, I didn't really want him to go home when he did because I felt he was still too weak. Okay. Now we're putting our purple. We're going to center it in this section here. So it's just on top of that glue. That was that one inch chunk there. Yeah. I felt he was too weak to come home and he was still coughing. No, I mean, I coughed for what? Three, four weeks. So I get it. Um, but he, he wasn't strong enough. And so, yeah, he was home for like 36 hours. But when he tried to go up, there's two stairs to get up to the kitchen. He couldn't do it. And he ended up sitting down and that was game over. He couldn't get up. So he called paramedics and they thought his oxygen was low. So they said, yeah, let's, um, let's take him in. And so he's there for a few more days until he can get stronger. But it's all well. Okay. So there is the card, you guys. Like that's, that's it. That is the mechanism. You can see it in there. It's a little crooked. I didn't put my glue right in the middle, but that's fine. So when the, the recipient gets it, it's going to sit like this and it's really pretty. So now like that's it. That's all. How easy was that? Right? Uh, that took 15 minutes from start to finish. Now though, we're going to do this, which just oh, makes me so crazy excited. I can't even. All right. I'm going to grab a piece of my uh, layers. This one is the five by three and three quarters. Okay. We're going to bring in this big, big boy from the Enduring Beauty stamp set. I love it. I love it so much. I am going to grab my gorgeous gray. Okay, rolling up the sleeves. We're getting serious now. Three by four. Yes. Thank you. How big is the purple piece? Thanks, Marlene. Three by four. And then um, the small, the white one is just two and three quarters by three and three quarters. Thanks, Lillian. You guys always have my back. Love you guys. I do. I truly do. I do. All right. I wish I could send all of you Galentine's Day cards. Alas, I just got a Christmas card back. So Mary Ellen Wells, if you're watching, I just got your Christmas card back today. All right. I see that I got a little schmutz over here, so I'm just going to wipe that off. All right, so I did this in gorgeous grape. And the only way I know which way is up and which way is down is I looked at the stamp case and I'm like, oh, up is where there's the three, the three leaves. So that's up. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm okay. All right. <laughs> so why is this camera right in my eyeball? Okay, so I'm going to hover and I'm going to stamp. And again, this glass mat is the cat's pajamas. It is like, it's a glass surface. So it's, it's not going anywhere. It's not bending. Oh, I love it. Okay. I gotta pick up my stamp set now because it's on the floor. And soon I'll cut. No, I won't calm down. I only have half an hour for heaven's sakes. All right. Now here comes the fun. I am going to tape this down to my glass mat and Honestly, I've got, I, you can't, maybe you can see it in here, right there. There's some tape from earlier. This cloth is already almost dry. It's like magic. You go like this, boom, it's all gone. There's nothing left. It's all clean. Squeaky, clean, literally, listen to the squeaks. Love it. 
The only downside to this mat, in my opinion, is that it dries out too fast. So I just hang mine. <laughs> Squeaky. Uh, I just hang mine on my on my uh, camera up high up here <laughs> so you can see it. Let's hide it out there. All right. So I am going to tape this to my glass mat so it doesn't move. Okay. Yes, Jennifer, you need this mat. It's it's the bomb. Okay, so I'm going to put it here and I'm going to use, you can use these grids on your mat to kind of help you with placement and stuff, but I'm just, I like to, I like to put it in them in a grid. Okay. Now with your bundle, you get the stamp set and the dies and you get the masks and there are five of them. I'm only going to use four of them and I've kept them scattered all over my desk because I didn't feel like washing them off because I'm going to use the same colors again. All right. They look terrifying. They do. I get it. I opened them and went, Oh God, why did I buy this? But it's so easy. Each one is numbered. So this one up here has a number one. See that? And a little divot. This one is number two and a little divot. Number three and a divot. Where are you? There you are. Three and a divot and number four. There you are, number four to divot, and then number five, which I'm not using tonight, but you certainly can. This is just the centers of the flowers, and it's got a number five in it and a little chunk. So what you have to do is you find number one. Here's number one, okay? And we're going to line it up. Um, I've done this a few times, so I know what I'm looking for, but this is the outline of the flower. So if you can find, like, this flower and this shape, it's kind of the easiest way to go about it. So look at that. That was easy. If you look for that flower and that hole, you're going you're gonna to find it pretty darn quick. There's only one flower that's looking like that, and there's one hole. So you line him up, and you can see where it's supposed to go. So you just twist around. I can see I'm seeing what you're seeing. Until it's covered exactly what you want it to cover. So all that's left are these flowers. Now, you can tape this down. I mean, I've got, you've got washi tapes, you've got all kinds of things. You can tape this in place. Like, I'm, I'm a little, um, I'm a little aggressive with my brushing, so maybe I do that. And this is taped to the glass mat, so it shouldn't move. While I'm here, I'm grabbing a Sharpie. Thanks, Becky. Hello. Kentucky. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to take my Sharpie, and I'm just going to mark this little divot. I'll show you why in a bit. Okay, now we get to sponge. This is so easy, you guys. Don't let it intimidate you. So I started off with, um, well, originally I wanted purples and this is what happened. This was my first attempt at it. Ugh, that's a little intense, a little harsh. This one's much better. Okay, so you're going to go in with your lightest and then you're going to come in with a darker accent, but not gorgeous grape because that's terrifying, right? So we're going to go in with bubble bath. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. And there are a few ways you can do this brushing, and I'll show you a few different ways as we go along here. This one, I'm, I've got my bubble bath designated blend brush, and I'm just going to pick up some ink from directly from the ink pad, okay? And I'm going to sponge as I go along here. So I'm just working in circles and you want to cover all the exposed spots with bubble bath. What I love about this and these brushes is can you see, like you can see the different tones, the different shades. Like here I pounced pretty hard and it's, a, it's darker right here and it's dark, you know, it's darker and lighter in various spots. I love that. It's a great effect that makes the, the whole image just look a lot more realistic. So leave it. I, you can go in and completely saturate it, which is what I did on this one. There's no shading on this one. But this one, I like the different tones of it. Okay. So, all right. Hi, Brenda. Okay. So now I'm going to close up my bubble bath. And I'm going to lift off the mask. And I'm going to put it to the side because you know me, something's going to end up on top of this and it's going to be all yucky. I'm just going to leave it over here. I'll wash it later. I'll just rinse it under the tap. It's just faster than, um, 
than uh, using baby wipes or whatever. Okay, so now we're bringing in our second piece. Now, what they they have labeled number two are the leaves. So I'm going to finish my flowers first, and that one is labeled number three. So I like to do number one first and then number three. Okay, so we're doing number three. And the whole reason put my ink onto the glass. Yes, that's what I'm going to be showing next, Kathy. So there are different techniques. The bubble bath just didn't show up very well. So that's exactly what I'm doing next, you big smarty pants. Okay. So the divot in here, the reason I marked that on my glass mat is now I can go in and very quickly line up the next piece. It should be around that orientation, right? So I'm just I'm checking uh, checking that divot and it's very close. I know now just to move this a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Hang on. It's buckling. All right. So around there, and then you just move it until you're covering. You, you can tell. Like, that's where it needs to be covered. All right, like that. So again, you can tape it in place. So it's not moving. Yes. So what Kathy was saying is what my next thing to show you is with a glass mat another another perk of this thing is it rather than going into your um let me find my freesia this is fresh freesia sorry and this is my freesia blending brush <laughs> I could go and pick ink up here but you don't need to use that much what you can do is you can just tap a little bit of ink you could do the whole thing but I don't need let me just move my face now I'm over here all right, so I'm just tapping a little bit. You could do the whole thing, but I don't need that much. Maybe I do. Let's do it. There. Okay, done. Now I can close this up. It's Tamara proof. And then I'm grabbing my blending brush and I'm picking up the ink right off the mat. And now I'm going to go in and I'm adding that accent. And this one, you can still do different shades, but I like this one to be a little bit more uniform. <clears throat> and you're just covering up again all of the spots and you're just picking the ink up from your glass mat and then when you're done you can just pick up the rest you're not wasting pick the rest up so it's in your brush for next time and then you can just grab your little chamois if it's still down mine is you can use either one I can use my uh, I can use this one just place it right up or the, uh, what's that other one called? Or is it chamois? What do we call this thing? What is this ugly thing called? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you can use either one. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to lift off this. See the big reveal. <gasps> lovely, lovely. This was darker than the other one I did, but that's okay. Uh, and that was in, um, yes, Fresh Freesia was that color. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in, and now we're going to do the leaves with number two. So this one, you really don't need the notch. You can pretty much see where that's going to be, the three leaves, the three leaves. So you're going to cover that up, but the notches do pretty much line up. We're covering up everything but the leaves. In there. Okay, I'm going to tape it down. You can use post-it notes. You can use washi tape. What I'm using, I have a roll of this post-it tape, so I use that. Okay, and for this one, I'm going in with Lost Lagoon. Now, you guys, I am color challenged. The only way I came up with these colors, like, look how pretty they are together. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, gee, does that happen to look like any of the colors in the paper? When you don't know what color to use, grab the designer paper. Have a little look-see. Okay. Hurry up. It is 739. Where is my Lost Lagoon brush? So see my label maker is one of my favorite tools too. So again, I can dab it on my mat. I'm just, I still have a bunch of ink in here. So I'm going to go in with my Lost Lagoon, which is the lighter green for the, um, the background of the leaves. And this too, you don't have to um, saturate it completely. You can go for different shades on the leaves. Just gives a really neat effect.
So you need this bundle, you guys. So this is my class. It's February 23rd. I still have seven packages. I uh, Like I figured, if I show this technique, people are going to want to take the class. Um, but uh, I mailed... People have already registered. It got in the mail today. So if you want to be in on this class, certainly can be. Porch pickup, long distance for the bundle. Just the stamp set, long dist uh, porch pickup and the bundle, and just the cards, $40. But if you register for all three of my classes for the cards only, you will get uh, $85 worth of free spending. So Bev and um, Susan and Denise, if you guys want to take three of the classes, you also get $85 worth of free spending and a celebration item as well. Yeah, just have to register for all three of them. Okay, so there's the Lost Lagoon. Oh, oh, I just, I swoon. I swoon. <laughs> I've never swooned before. I'm swooning. Swoon. Last one. So we're lining up that divot. Oh, gotta move my face again. Right over here. Okay. Thank you, Marcella. Um, I'll find, I can send you the form if you don't have it. Uh, but the form, if you click on the header on Tamara's Paper Trail, um, there will be a link to the form, but I can send it to you in Messenger too. Because you have options and I need to know what you want for celebrations and stuff. So anyway, okay. So now this one we're going in with the Pretty Peacock. Grab my other brush. And this one is neat because it's got, this is where the little stems, you see those little ticks, those are the stems. Thanks, Penny. Hi, Crystal's from Australia. Nice to see you, my friend. Okay, and this one I think still has a lot of ink in it from before. We'll pick up a little bit more, I guess. And again, yes, I could just do, I could just tap a little bit of ink and then close up my pad. I'll just pick it up from here. I love these masks. Usually I'm like, oh, that is way too fiddly. Not happening. Can't make me. And I might have a slight addiction to these. They're just like all the different color combinations. I know it's not a poppy flower, but I think you could you would pull poppy if you did it in poppy color. Look at this, you guys. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, let's just clean up my crafter mask here. Okay. <laughs> Stacy. Stacy, I'm I was hoping if, I'm gonna see if I can do um not a PDF per se. I, I'm, I'm still working on it, but as discussed with dad in the hospital and all this stuff, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but I, I'm thinking of you guys and I'm trying to find a way to make it work. Okay. So I'm just going to twist this off now and actually I have to get this tape off the glass. Okay. So that's done now 743. I can get this done. You bet I can. If anybody can, Tamara can. All right. So I am going to tape it down, cut it out with my dies. Don't go away. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay. I will get this done. I will, I will, I will. All right, so that was the die from the bundle. It's just so pretty. This one isn't. <laughs> it's just so harsh. All right. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to grab my eraser. I'm going to take, this is the tape that I had used <clears throat> to tape to my glass mat. We'll just erase that. This is a gummy eraser. We used to sell them. We don't anymore, but the dollar store has them. Michael's has them. All right. Now for my card here, I wanted it to kind of fold in on itself. So I actually twisted the flower. Like normally, I say these three at the top, it would go like this. Okay, that's up. So I wanted to twist it, but mm, well, you could put the sentiment either direction. But I ended up going this way so that I had more space down here for my sentiment. So that's what I wanted to do. Now, pay attention here. Where are we going to put the glue? I hear you cry. Well, if you put it everywhere, you're not going to be able to open your card. So we only want to put the glue from here down. So 
You've established where you want to put it. Hold it. Flip it over. Use your head for more than a hat rack. Grab your pencil. Pencil. Pencil, pencil. And I'm just going to draw a line. So I'm going to put the glue here. I'm not going to put it all the way down to these leaves because I the sentiment can tuck in there a little bit. Might be able to tuck in there. In, mine, in my case, it does. So I'm not going to put the glue all the way to the bottom. Oh, which side did I do now? Like this, right? Yes. So I'm going to leave these flowers naked. And I'm just going to put the glue here. Close it. I'm going to go like this just to make sure that it's mostly where I want it to be. See where my line is. Okay, so let's move that over a bit. Before it dries, let's make sure it's not too high, not too low, not too over. You want to make sure it's still in the confines of the card. Scooch it over just a titch. Not a smidge, just a titch. Okay, there, we're almost done. Now, I have some leftovers. Um, I cut too many for my class. <laughs> so I luckily have some extra pieces here. This die is also in the dies that you get with the bundle. This one here. I'm grabbing my pretty peacock and the sentiment, which is holding you close in my heart. And I'm going to stamp it over towards the right hand side. Making sure there's full coverage. Ta -da! Love it! Love it! It's a good one, Teresa. It's just so fun to play. And the, the thing about this is it, well, aside from the sentiments, you know me and my sentiments. Love it. Love and, okay, holding you close to my heart. So that's sympathy. Just because, like embrace the beauty of you. You mean so much to so many. Love endures all things. It's always been you. It's great for sympathy, birthday, Mother's Day, all the all the things. All the things, you guys. All right. So I want this to be here now and ideally tucked under here. So I probably should have rotated it a little bit. It's probably stuck down. Yeah, it is. That's fine. I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to tie it even with a ribbon. So I know I'm going to put glue just on this side. So about here and to the right. And I'm using glue just because there's going to be some, some uh, is it gravity. I don't know. There's going to be some tension as the card is going to want to pull open. So use a strong adhesive, either your uh, stamp and seal plus tear and tape or glue. And I just moved it everywhere. There we go like that. Hi, Ida. Yes. Oh my gosh. You're missing all the things, Ida. Okay. <clears throat> we're almost done, you guys. Now we're going to do uh, four and a half lengths of ribbon. One, two, three, four and a half. This is the peacock and gold something or other. Pretty peacock and gold. Peacock and gold, period. End of sentence. Okay. Cut that. We're going to tie it just because I wanted it to be a little bit tighter. Although it really doesn't seem to be. Okay. So we're going to tie it closed. So under. Now you want to pull this really tight so that the card's like buckling. Because when you tie the bow, it will release and relax a bit. So you want to pull it as tight as you can. And then when you, I'm still pushing down on that center and then pull <laughs> and it's still going to loosen, but that's okay. And then you can trim the tails. That nice big bow, make them nice and big. Scooch them over. So to move the ribbon, you're going to, you're going to bend the card this way a bit so it can move smoothly. And then that's filling in some of this space over here, which is exactly why I did it. Snip, snip. Then you grab your purple fine or your purple fine shimmer gems and your pokey tool. 
I know, Nikki. I thought that this ribbon was going to be really stiff because we've had one similar before. And I thought, oh, yeah, no, it's okay. I don't need it. No, it ties really easily. Okay, I'm going to bring in these ones because they're opened. And because it's uh, holding you close to my heart, they get five gems. They get five because this is for a very special reason, for a very special person. Big one. Little one. We like to use odd numbers. It's pleasing to the eye. All right, Donna, are you in the house, Donna? And then we're gonna do two more on the label. A big one. And a little one. Ah, I hate when that happens. They go flying and then you wasted one. Okay. Now the recipient, hopefully they wouldn't undo the bow. Hopefully they would slide it, which is kind of the intention. Oh, I still have to do the inside and I still have nine minutes. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Now, so this is the inside piece for that. Okay. I'm going to go a little fancy because I have nine minutes. I'm going to tape it down to my thing, my mat being the thing. I'm going to ink up in gorgeous grape, my big flower again. Oh, did I move this? I did. Okay, I'm going to ink up the flower. I'm going to stamp it in the corner. Okay, I'm going to put it way over here so I don't put anything in it. Wipe up your mess. <laughs> then we could do it all over again. If I can find the right... Good luck on that. Okay, which let me just look at the orientation. So that was, I did it here. So that's the bottom. It's upside down is what you're telling me. So that's over here. So that's this guy. Okay. Like this somehow. She said confidently. Oh, nailed it. Okay. Like that. Okay, so I could grab my Sharpie again. Now, yes, I am, <laughs> okay, all right, I'm all right. <laughs> I, um, I am using a Sharpie, and you might be thinking, but Tamara, that's permanent. Yeah, nothing's permanent in Tamara land. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my bubble bath. There's still probably some in my ink, in my brush here, so I'm just going to do... There is, but I need more. We still have seven minutes, girls. We're getting it done. I could even do this to the envelope if I was really creative. Really ambitious, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so there. That's number one. Close it up. And number two, so you can see this is where I put this squiggle down here. So hopefully this will be somewhere around here. Yum yeah, on. Because apparently I just turned Jamaican. <laughs> I spend a lot of time alone, you guys. Okay. Um, fresh freesia. With my fresh freesia brush. That's great. This is not it. Freesia. Here we go. Go with the accent color. This is truly for somebody I love, I tell ya. There's a lot of work, this one. Okay, next we're going in with the upside down this way. I'm not even going to tape you. You get, where's my lagoon? That's Peacock. Here's lagoon. Where's my lagoon ink? <laughs> Hi, Wendy. You got to check this out, girl. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up the little bit that's here in the lid. Okay, done. And the last one is the accent. So he's going upside down and that's going to go here. With my peacock, cock, cock, my peacock, cock. Okay. I'm sure there's enough ink in there to show. Ta-da. Okay, that one was off a little bit because I didn't even get, well, that's okay. They're not going to complain. 
Okay, let me wipe off the schmutz. Give this a little twist. Okay, and we're ready to attach it to our card. <laughs> Bev. If you need this card, my friend, I will mail it to you. Oh, there's still a little bit of schmutz. Oh, well. So you know it's handmade. Like that. And then you could do the same thing on the envelope. But I'm not going to. But I am going to stamp my envelope just in honor of Donna. And because I still have five minutes left, we're going to ink this up again in our gorgeous grape. Grab a corner and stamp. And we are done. Huh? I did it, I did it, I did it. I know. Oh, Gerald, don't let me down, buddy. There we go. At oh, he's letting me down. And I'll give myself a round of applause. Oh! Nailed it. So where is my ribbon? So we've done the inside, add the ribbon back. So to get the ribbon back on, you're going to pinch it this way to bend it. So it's sm made smaller. And release. And you have a gorgeous card. I love it so much. <sighs> it's true, I do. Okay. All right. Sonia, hello. I didn't see you pop in. Hello, my friend. Do this one too. So now I have two cards and I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? This is how I know it's going to be a good Monday is when I hit on something I love, love, love. So again, thank you to Cindy Piggott for her. I need to clean off this. It's going to be everywhere. Uh, to Cindy for her inspirational swap card. Oh, I was going to show you. Okay. This is not very dry. So this was the Sharpie that just comes off. But all you need to do if the Sharpie is, is dried is add a little bit of alcohol. It recharges it and boom, gone. So I like Sharpie. I don't like the dry erase markers because um, those will smudge. If you, if you bump it with your hand or your card, it'll get all over your project. So there we go. So this one was Cindy's. This one, oh my God, I just love the spatula and the spoon. Makes me so happy. So happy. You're welcome, Denise. Happy to just, okay, that didn't work out well. <laughs> Close it this way. Yes, it's almost tax time. I have to start printing off stuff. Now that our reports are done, I can print off all my taxes stuff for, um, for my stamping business. So there you go, my friends. Okay, so uh, don't forget. Wait, where are we? Let's go back here. All right, you guys, where are you going to be? Tuesday, next Tuesday, the 13th. At 6.30, you're going to be right here. We're going to do our BOGO, virtual BOGO. If you want to sign up for this class, please do so sooner than later. I uh, I can put links. Well, there's links all over the place. But if you want one, like right now, the sooner I mail it to you, the better. So, Marcella, yeah, get that registration for me, and I'll mail it tomorrow. I'm heading off to the chiropractor, and I'll mail it on the way back home because I want to give it, <coughs> pardon me, with the weather out east and everything, you never know. Um, how long it's going to take. If you need the bundle, let me know. I'll order it like tonight. Okay. Um, yeah. And if you guys want to sign up for three of my card only classes, if you're demonstrators and you want the cards only, I will give you $85 worth of free product plus a celebration item. Let me know. You guys, that was awesome. I don't know how I'm going to sleep now because now I'm all pumped and I'm all up here. Maybe I'll go do my yoga. And some Zen. <laughs> Namaste. I will see you Friday for coffee break. You know what? I'm going to, yes, I will be here on time. I have chiropractor at eight. No, I have a uh, physio eight fifteen, eight forty five to nine forty five. Uh, yeah, I'll leave early. Anyway, I'll be here Friday, 10 AM mountain time. <laughs> I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you Friday. Have a good night. You guys.